Welcome to Zoom at Times TV, and here's your host, Anita Finley. Well, we have the mystery lady. She, it's not that she's a mystery. It's the thing she does. It's a mystery. I've always thought it was a mystery. Roberta Haladic, who's the CEO and co-founder of the Energetic Matrix Church of Consciousness. And you can get on the program. It's AIM, A-I-M, program.com. So after we talk a little bit, you'll want to get on it because a lot of this you won't understand unless you really know about her program. Now, I've been involved in this program for a long time, and I attribute a lot of this to my good health and my good energy and my consciousness. And everybody I know who, who, who everyone who is on this seems to feel the same way. And they have been doing this for how many years, Roberto? I think we're coming up on 23 years. How many? 23. Huh. 23 years and you don't look a day older. <laughs> <laughs> that's for that's sure. Right. Well, that's what it is with a lot of people who feel energetic. They don't, you know, time just moves on and they don't even see themselves. And it's so funny when I'm out somewhere and someone says to me, they open the door and say, ma'am. I say, okay, I know I'm older. <laughs> and I once asked someone and the guy said, I'm Southern. I call everybody ma'am. I said, okay. Uh so let's just play um let's play what who are you and what do you do because you know it's funny so many times i'll hear someone come back to us and say gee that was an interesting guest i said haven't you heard him or her no i've never heard them so i think what happens is it keeps getting new people who you know come in depending because we're always putting this out there so let's make believe nobody knows who you are you're this, um, the, you just came in on one of the UFOs and, uh, and you have to tell him. <laughs> First of all, I will tell everybody that you are calling in, of course, from Las Vegas. That's an important issue. And then just tell us that uh, you don't work in the casinos. No, I don't work. No, that's for sure. <laughs> well, what I do and who I am is I work with energy. So, but we work in a different way of what most people think of energy, like friends of mine that I've, you know, I met our neighbors um, next door to me a few weeks ago and she asked me what I did. And I said, um, well, I kind of energy and it's kind of hard because sometimes I'll have to feel them out before I actually tell them exactly what I do. But she um, thought I was like an energy healer where you massage people or you work with someone face to face. And we don't, I work with your photograph. So um, the way we work is from a distance, we send frequencies to you to help you balance your energy. So it's kind of like working with auras. If everybody's kind of more familiar with an aura and that's kind of the way we work is um, looking at your photograph because your photograph is unique to you. And we are all a, a bunch of little molecules or um, aura, I guess you could say. We kind of look at you that way. And you know inside you what is going right or what's going wrong within your body. So what we do is we try to tap into that and help you obliterate the negative energies and keep the positive energy going, which raises your life force, which your life force is your inner strength to overcome adversities. So that might be, you know, today might be a difficult day. You might have a lot going on today. Maybe you um, hit the lottery and you're not sure what to do with your money. I mean, there's ah. all energy that we <laughs> overcome on a you know particular day maybe the kids were sick this morning you had to leave one with a babysitter you know we have a lot of things that um wear on us so that's what our life force does is it helps us to overcome that and then we also have our consciousness level and it raises our consciousness as well and when our consciousness is at a higher peak we make better decisions more opportunities come our way we might have better relationships, whether it's with um, a significant other, husband, wife, daughter, children, um, son, daughter, grandkids, 
whatever it happens to be, or it could be coworkers, you know, people that we work with because we're at work. Well, most of us are at work most of the day. So you want to, that's kind of like another family. So there's a lot of different aspects to what I do for a living, but though that's the main thing. Then these frequencies that I send to you, um, everyone gets the same frequencies that are on the program. A person called me the other day and asked me if I could just focus on this one area of him. And I said, no, because we kind of work on the whole body. Um, everything in your body, it's kind of like a car. If you put in gasoline into your car, all the components of the car are working to get you from point A to point B. So that's the same with our bodies. So the energies that we're sending work on the entire system, your mind, your spirit, your um, physical body, all those aspects. So um, we have anti-aging frequencies, we have positive affirmations, we have all sorts of energies that are helping us in our everyday life. That's fantastic. Now, if we just could put that on a business card. <laughs> Which you yeah, can't, of course. Hard, right? Yeah, that, that was excellent. Too. So that's what you need. You need you need a T-shirt that says all that. <laughs> and you you I'll work, work on, on it. it. Well, but but tell us tell everybody why the computer is the is your assistant compared to having other people sitting in laboratories. Well, the computer, we can put these frequencies into the computer and it can send them 24-7, 365 days a year. It never stops unless you decide to not be on the program. Otherwise, the energies are continually going to anyone that's on the program. If we had people like before when Steve and I were in private practice, we could only see so many people a day because we're only human, right? But this way we can get to more people and have people experience the positive energies of the program and more healing can go out. And we kind of, that was our focus was to try and get more people to feel this because we were getting busier and busier in a private practice and we couldn't keep up with it. So we came up with this way of being able to see more people, so to speak. Yeah, and so the co-founder Stephen, whom, whom our our guest, um, you know, um, so so actually Roberta Haladic worked with someone called Stephen, and I'm sorry, I lost his last name, Stephen Lewis. Lewis. Sorry, Stephen Lewis, and they came up with this whole idea. Now, since the time you first started with the computers, you've upgraded all that, haven't you? Now, I mean, you've yes. You know, yeah. this we've gone through another upgrade of our system to um, make it more efficient and to um, help us heal a little faster and that kind of thing. We're always looking for the new, better, more efficient way to do the work that we do. And then my job is to find new frequencies and to research different aspects of healing to um, find us new things to put on the program so that we're as current as possible. So that's um, my aspect of it is the research. Evan, my other business partner, is more my techie person who um, is the one that's working on this upgrade. And we kind of collaborate with um, my aspect of the research end and then him as the technical end to see how we can bring them together to be more efficient for our participants. Okay, so now let's say that you have your thousands on the computer. Uh, do you have to wait for one of those, one of your members um, or patients? I don't, we call them clients. What do you call them? Clients? Participants. Yeah, participants. Thank you. To call you and to ask, or does something pop up and, and it alerts you and you know that, well, a, number A or number Z is having this problem. How, how do you do that? Well, there's different ways to do that, but one of them is um, when participants come on our program, we do these things called rechecks, and we do one at five months, and we do another at 11 months. And at 11 months, when I'm testing to see what the life force reading is, that kind of alerts me if there's something not in the database. 
And then I have to investigate and find out what is unique in that person that um, is not showing in the database. There's also another way that I do it. And that's if a participant being on the program for some time is still having um, a challenge. Like I had a participant the other day, he's been on the program for three or four years and he was having this one issue and he said, everything else is fabulous, but I can't seem to get one issue under control. Maybe there's something not in the database. And he was absolutely correct. When I checked him, there was something not in the database. And that's how I find my new frequencies, as well as if I um, hear things in the news or a facilitator, which is our outreach program, if they happen to contact me and say, hey, I heard about this, a participant mentioned they have this, is that on the program, those kind of things. That's how I update and do my research. So what has COVID done for you with the research and everything? Have you discovered things with people on this? Um, as far as the actual coronavirus, that's always been in our database. But with this um, pandemic that we experienced, there were a lot of different um, frequencies of it, I should say. So, um, so when we... Um, we're testing that to see, you know, what it makes sure we had it in the database. I was testing participants that were diagnosed with it, um, different things like that to find that frequency so that it would help us on our, um, you know, to try and help us to build up our immune system so that we could overcome it. Because it's not that um, we're never going to pick up anything. It's how fast do we get over it. And as we all know, some people have had a really difficult time with this particular thing. Others, it hasn't seemed to bother. And then we've had those that we have lost due to it. So there's a lot of aspects to it. But um, we have found different frequencies. I've been investigating it, um, testing people and trying to find things to help us to build the immune system up. So it's yeah. actually... Um, I, I don't know if I could say it's been helpful, um, but we have been able to add new things to the database because of it, I guess. Yeah, that's great. I was thinking about that. Let me give you the phone number, please, for the, um, you know, for, I'll, I'll call it the AIM program. That's always so much easier. And yeah, I want you to get on their website, AIM, A-I-M, program.com, and their phone number is 702. 944-1801, and I'll repeat that, 702-944-1801, is that correct, Roberta? That's correct, thank you. Okay, get on there, and um, I mean, call, they'll send you information, mm -hmm. they've got lots of information, or you can go on the website, but sometimes you need something in your hand that you can really study and look at. It would be the best money you could spend on your life um, it's Wayne Dyer believed in this. He was a very close associate of, um, of them, Steve Lewis, Stephen Lewis, and uh, of course, of Roberta Halatic. And they have so many famous people who are on this because people have seen the difference. Um, and I, I know it's not prudent for you to talk about who else is on the program because that's all really, you know, personal. But Wayne didn't care because he, he he was doing other things with you on the program. You know, he's the kind of guy that when he saw how good it went, he said, okay, I've got some other people you ought to think about. So what did you do because of Wayne Dyer? Wayne was, um, God bless his heart. He was a, such an amazing man. And it's so fun to listen to some of his lectures and things, and they're still current today. It's yes. crazy, right? Um, yep. but Wayne was a very close friend with Stephen. And he had been doing his lectures and a little girl was at his, one of his lectures. And I think she was with her grandmother and um, she mentioned that she had autism. So he contacted us and he said, Hey, have you guys ever worked with autism? You know, is that on the program? And Steve said, wow, you know, it was way back in the beginning of us doing the AIM program. So we were still doing a lot of research. Um, like we are doing today, but at that time it was kind of a, a little different. And so Steve said, well, let's start a program 
for autistic children and let's put them on for free and it'll be the Wayne Dyer Scholarship Fund. And so, oh, he, so he had this little girl, her, her grandmother filled out her application and they sent it to us. And um, this is our poster child. She is an amazing girl. She's now, I think, 22, I believe. She's graduated college. She has a job and she's married. So she has just fabulous. And it was really cute because with our autism program, we asked that the um, parent or guardian write a report every quarter just to tell us how they're doing. So we can see if we need to investigate to give them more something, if there's something not in them um, that we can find in them to help them to better their life. That's our main goal is to help them better the, all of us so we can all live our best life, right? So um, this little girl about probably like seven or eight months into the program, she wrote her own report and she said, I'm writing my own report because nobody knows better than me what's going on with me. From that point on, she would write her own report. And I got a letter from her grandmother just a few months ago and she just wanted to thank us. She said, if it wasn't for us and Wayne Dyer, she said she doesn't know where her granddaughter would be today. So she's done fabulous. Wow. We have a huge um, scholarship program because of Wayne. And then we also have another one because of Wayne and that was for Down syndrome. So we have those two scholarships. We also had one going for the 9-11 um, uh, workers, the first responders. So we had a lot of policemen, firemen, um, oh. we had doctors, nurses, just regular folks that happened to be there to help out. Um, and we gave free scholarships for those folks as well to help them. So um, I, I didn't know any of this. I am so glad that I knew about, of course, the autism and Downs, but I didn't know about this other. Oh my yeah. God, that's fantastic. Yeah, and we, um, you know, we tried to help in any way we could those folks because it's, um, you know, we didn't, we were just told them, you know, hey, if you've been a first responder or something and you're having any issues, you know, contact us and let us put you on our program for free and let's see if we can try and help you out in any way we can. And that's our way of giving back um, to the to the community, to the world, whatever. We like to do those kind of things. And have you heard from them? We, I don't know how many, I look up, I don't know how many 9-11 scholarship participants I still have on the program, but um, we do hear a lot from our um, other scholarship participants for sure. And so have you heard from more AIM, um, excuse me, more autistic kids? I mean, since, you know, that was your first thing, uh, you have some other great examples oh, of that? We have a lot of kids on the program and adults. Um, we had an adult who was on the program too. His caretaker found out about the program and wanted him on. And he was in a community home. And it was fabulous because about a year into the program, he was moved into his own apartment. And he was able to use the microwave. He couldn't use the stove, but he said he was cooking his own meals with a microwave and he was able to live pretty much on his own. They're still in the same compound so that they have help if they need it. And then someone is watching to make sure that they're okay and everything. Sure. So he was able though to live in his own apartment and he was so thrilled. And he um, sent us a little article and he was actually on the news and they sent us a little news clip from where he was. I think he's in New Jersey. Wow. It was, that, see, that's what makes you so happy and proud, isn't it? That's what keeps you going, I think. It does. It really makes you feel like you're, you're making a, a difference. Because a lot of folks come on our program and we don't really hear too much from them. But then when we do, it, um, it really does make you happy. <clears throat> yeah, well, I can see. I mean, changing a life, you know, it's one thing just to feel better, but the other is serious. They, they just can't function. And 
That's great that you've done that. Wow. So uh, this is even this. I never had this program before with all the things you've told me. Phone number to call, though, for more information is 702-944-1801. And the website is aimprogram.com. My guest is Roberta Haladic, who's the CEO and co-founder of the, it's called Energetic Matrix Church of Consciousness. And the, would you still take some people if they're on AIM? What's that? Excuse me. I didn't mean that. If if they were autistic, would you still take people? Is that scholarship program still available? Of course. I'll have the scholarship. The Wayne Dyer scholarship. Wow, that's yeah. great. Well, we've run out of time, Roberta, and we thank you so much. And stay out of the heat. Um, <laughs> or just get a, take a cold shower, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Thank you again. You just look wonderful and you speak so elegantly and we love when you come on. Thank you so much, oh, Roberta. For having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's always great. Okay, goodbye, everybody. Bye. We'll be back with another Zoomer Times uh, presentation.